Esau and Janie Jenkins were a couple we don't hear about, like some of the more famous people we hear about during the, the civil rights movement. They were like a lot of people within their community trying to help others better themselves. They lived in Johns Island in South Carolina, right near Charleston, and they spent almost their entire married lives trying to help others uh, improve uh, their education, help them get registered to vote, and just help better themselves. Esau had experienced and observed discrimination, racial violence, and he decided early on that he wanted to help change things. That era was an era of segregation, and African Americans and white people were very divided, and any time there was some kind of coming together, there, there were a lot of rules, a lot of laws. He, from the beginning, said, I want to help people encourage racial harmony, and uh, what can I do to do that? Well, the story of this microbus starts a lot earlier than 1967. They actually, in the 1940s, purchased a series of vehicles to help transport people. They thought that was one of the ways that they could help the community. And generally, they drove people into Charleston. They drove children to help them attend schools there because there weren't a lot of schools on the island in the area. They interestingly also transported adults, sometimes for work, but also sometimes importantly, uh, to register to vote. And a lot of times on the way, Esau had a little more education than uh, most of the other people living on the island, and he would give them tips on how to answer questions on the literacy test to get approved for registration. After a while, in the 1950s, he actually helped establish something called uh, citizenship schools. It started with uh, something called the Progressive Club that Esau Jenkins formed on Johns Island in 1948, which became kind of a community center. It had a grocery store, it had classrooms, it even had lodging. In the 1950s, he actually was asked by a, a former school teacher named Septima Clark to attend kind of a civil rights workshop in Tennessee, a place called the Highlander Folk School. And she wanted to help him work on adult education classes, adult literacy, and how to develop that and then take that back. And that is what formed the citizenship schools, which helped with adult education in his own community. And that actually became a model for other communities around the South. Dr. Martin Luther King attended and actually spoke at the Highlander Folk School for its 25th anniversary, which would have been 1957. And then Rosa Parks also attended the Highlander Folk School the summer right before she refused to stand on the bus. Septima Clark was a huge influence on Rosa Parks. So within a space of like three years, all of them had attended that uh, school, taken classes, been inspired, the same woman, Septima Clark. They had that in common. Esau Jenkins helped form a high school uh, on his island. He helped create an adult education school on his island. He helped form a credit union for African Americans to form lower interest rates. So he had all kinds of impact that just started with these original transport vehicles and eventually led to the purchase of this microbus for all of his different initiatives. One of the things that he did was form a group called Citizens Committee of Charleston County. This was in 1959, and that was one of his big bring it all together initiatives. And the idea was just to generally promote racial harmony in any way possible. They offered scholarships for children, helped education, literacy, voting rights. By the time they were driving this around in the 1960s, he's doing so many different things that that was just kind of his name for all of it. This relates to kind of a, an empowerment of having a private vehicle that you could get around and you didn't have to deal with public transportation. So that gave him a lot of freedom and the people he drove around. And this is another 
classic story of a couple, ordinary people in a very small community trying to help and making a difference and serving as a model for other people uh, helping their communities and can also still serve as an inspiring model um, for what we can still do today to help each other, help ourselves, help our communities, help our country and our world.